In this lesson, we'll look at an application problem involving continuous compound interest. The question reads, suppose an investment of 5,000 compounded continuously grew to an amount of 5,130 and 50 cents in six months. Find the interest rate and then determine how long it will take for the investment to grow to 6,000. Round the interest rate to the nearest hundredth of a percent and the time to the nearest hundredth of a year. To do this type of problem, we need to use the formula shown underneath, and this is what we use for exponential growth, essentially. Notice that the base of the exponential model is of base E, and you use the base E whenever you're looking at continuous compound interest. So we're told that the investment, the principal, happens to be 5,000. So we'll represent P as the principal, and that's the starting point being $5,000. E is approximately 2.71, but make sure to use the button on your calculator, which gives you more decimal places after the one. All represents the interest rate as a percentage. And that's what we're looking for, actually. They say find the interest rate, so R is what we're looking for. And the time is six months. Now, interest is always measured per year. And so does T. T needs to be per year. Over here, it's in months. So change six months to a year. I'll write down six months, and the conversion is that there are 12 months in a year. So I'll multiply this by 12 months at the bottom and one year at the top. That's the conversion. Essentially, it is 0 0.5 years. Let's substitute these values into the formula. Also keep in mind that 1130.50 is the value for A, the amount. So 5. 130.5 is equal to our principal of 5,000 times E raised to the power of R, which is what we're looking for, times 0 0.5. Let's go ahead and solve for R. The first thing that I want to do is divide both sides by 5,000. That will cancel out the 5,000 on the right side. We'll leave this the way it is. I'm not going to evaluate it right now. So I'm still working on the right side. We have e to the power of r bracket 0 0.5. To get r on the same level as e, so that's not an exponent anymore, we take ln of both sides. So if I take ln of the left side, I'll write it out like this. Remember, ln is log of base e. We just use ln to represent that. And the same thing on the right side. And what it will do on the right side, if we use the rules of logs or logarithm rules. When you are taking the ln of a number that's raised to a power, the exponent becomes a product of the expression on the right. So we can write it out as r bracket 0 0.5 ln of e. As I mentioned, ln is log of base e. So if we have log of base e of e, when this and this are the same, it becomes 1. So we can just cancel that and not worry about it anymore. On the left side, I have a ln of the same expression above. We're actually almost done. All we have to do is divide both sides by 0 0.5. That cancels out, 0 0.5. And we have it on the left side. So I have ln of this fraction, 5130.50 divided by 5,000. That's the numerator, divided by 0.5. We end up with 0 0.0515. 0 0.0515 is equal to r. And remember the parameters. They said find the interest and then determine how long it will take for the investment to grow to 6,000. Round the interest rate to the nearest hundredth. Hundredth means two numbers after the decimal place. With that said, I'll multiply this by 100% and we get 5.15% is R. And since they want it to the nearest hundredth, we will stop writing after the second number, which is five. And following that five was three. So you don't round upwards. Now, the next part is determine how long it will take for the investment to grow to 6,000. So we do the same calculation again this time, the amount is 6,000. The principal was 5,000. E raised to the power of RT. The rate is 0 
five. And we are looking now for t. So the same math implies we divide both sides by 5,000. I'll do this quickly now, now that you know what to do. Divide by 5,000 both sides. This will cancel out 5,000. And we have e to the power of 0.0515t. We lawn both sides, just like before. And we get just the exponent on the right side, 0.0515t and the same expression as we had at the top. Divide both sides by the coefficient in brown. Cancel, cancel, and once again, ln. 6,000 divided by 5,000 divided by 0 0.0515 gives us the time as 3.54 years. And they want years to be nearest hundredth. The number after four was zero, so that is the answer. It takes that many years to get to 6,000 or 1,000 more than what you initially put in. And there you have it. That is how to solve continuous compound interest applications.